All right. We're ready to go. So are you a coach of any kind? This is going to be a specific little training here for coaches, parents, educators, other people who care about others or help others. You can listen in, but I'm going to get very specific here for coaches. And that's for you if you are a life coach, business coach, health coach, um, athletic coach, performing arts coach, like any kind of coach. I've been four different kinds of coaches in my lifetime, athletic, music, financial, and now performance coach, high performance coach. So really this is for any kind of coach. And what are we gonna dig into on the three things that I see cause coaches a lot of stress, even burnout, and sometimes cause coaches to just leave and, and no longer coach because they, they've really hit that point. Back in 2010, when I created the Pressure Free Method, that summer, I wrote my first book. I still remember, like, we went on vacation, but I was working the whole time working on this book. And my husband was editing it with me. And it was this simple little book. Um, that was my first ebook, if you will. And uh, that September, Coach D'Antonio of the Michigan State football team, um, the head coach, had a heart attack. And my, my whole heart just went, no. Now I'm a University of Michigan grad three times over. So I'm caring about an MSU coach, um, which uh, actually plays into this story a bit. So my whole heart was just like, this didn't have to happen. This coach did not have to have this heart attack, but, but they're triggering the stress response. And these three reasons I'm going to bring up are probably the reasons why. So um, bold me, I call the Michigan State Football Department. I, I get to the first person and they say, okay, let me see if can, I can transfer to somebody. You know, I'm trying to get to Coach D'Antonio, right? Like I'm trying to go all the way. Um, <laughs> I get to the next person who says, well, let me have you see, let me see if the head trainer will talk to you. So I end up talking to the head trainer at that time. And I, I just explain what I have. I, and, and they said, well, are you a psychologist? I said, no. Are you a therapist? You know, they asked me all these questions. I said, no, no. I said, I'm a performer. I have three degrees from the University of Michigan. I'm a high performer and I've created a very unique method that's not based on traditional psychology. It's actually based on neuroscience, right? So I'm, I'm trying to explain what I do to the best of my ability. And he says, well, without any credentials and without, um, what did he say? I needed some sort of testimonials from, from mental health professionals. He, he couldn't do anything with what I had. So I said, well, I'm just going to send you this ebook I've written, and I hope you share it with D'Antonio. That's how I left it. I never heard from them again. Actually, never pursued it again. I probably should have. Well, actually, I think I sent one more because I instantly went to a um, physician, a psychologist, and a chiropractor who all, all supported what I was doing and were clients of mine. Okay, so I sent that to them, and, um, but I, ne I never heard back. I'm hoping that little ebook did something because um, actually some people saw people going like this at MSU, like pushing the football players, pushing the Ferris wheel. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but let's get to these three things. So three things that I see cause coaches a lot of stress. Number one is the underperformance of those you serve. So if you're a business coach, you, your client is underperforming at bringing in the money and building the business the way you know they could. That can cause a lot of stress to you because it's frustration. Like, why don't they take the coaching? Why aren't they following this great expertise I have and actually doing the steps? I've seen it happen for me too. It's like, these are simple steps, but there's so many blocks for people, many, many blocks. So that can cause a great deal of stress for you, the underperformance of the people that you serve. The second thing that I see a great deal is um, you're taking on secondhand stress. The stress that your clients are under or those, your athletes, whomever it is you're working with, the stress that they are experiencing um, is something that keeps you up at night. Like you're actually taking it on and taking it in, even if you're super professional. That was probably an issue with Antonio, both of those, because you know if your team is not performing the way you want, that, that reflects on him. That decides whether he stays in his job or not, by the way. And that's the case for you too, maybe, or whether or not you get new clients, you know, their performance um, is important. So, so that can keep you up at night, taking on their stress. 
Uh, also, if you have a big event or they have a big event and you're worried for them. I recently worked with a young um, pianist who was playing in a showcase at Carnegie Hall. And um, I, I have these things that I teach coaches so that you don't get caught up in, in that, in that worry, in that, you know, how will they do? Will that reflect on you? It does reflect on you. If you're their coach, like it's very easy to get all tangled up in that. Third is money. So one of the things that I see or a couple of stressors I see, um, I've seen this in athletic coaches, like they're not paid a lot at the high school, middle school level. Honestly, I think middle school coaches should be paid the most because you've got all these kids and you're teaching all of them. And you're in many cases teaching them the basics they will then use in high school and college. I was a middle school coach, middle school coach for a year. So I get that. Um, but many coaches are underpaid. So you're for the time they're putting in. Uh, when we, when I was working with this middle school coach, um, so I was an assistant coach and he was the head coach and we were the two main coaches and we had other assistants. We spent hours just placing students in all their events. I was a track coach hours every single week for every meet, because at one point we had 90 kids placing every kid in all of these events and making sure it was getting them what they needed. And it, it was a big deal. It's a lot of time. And as a business coach, life coach, you're putting a lot of time and energy and you're also have a coach. You're probably investing in learning as well. So you can keep pouring more into your own clients. So that's, that's a ton of time. And if you actually broke it out, you might feel like I'm not getting paid enough. There are money worries. The other part of money worry is when people don't pay you. Private, we, we created a community music school um, in the town where I used to live, in the city where I used to live. And one of the reasons was to take off the burden of the private music teacher of, of the money issues. Because there's so many times when parents wouldn't pay um, their music teachers. And that's the case for, for anybody in any of the fields of the one-on-one -on -one, is that you may have a client who just stops paying you for whatever struggles they're going through. And that causes you a lot of stress. So those are the three main stresses that I see. I see the underperformance of the people that you serve. I see you taking on secondhand stress and you might not even realize it, but what's keeping you up at night with the activity that you coach and do. And then the third is the money piece. I've created a certification program now for Pressure Free. It's the Pressure Free Performance Coaching Certification. So you have a high, high performance certification that's going to be very specific on the very thing that's causing all of this stress, all of this burnout. And that's the fact that your clients and you are triggering the fight or flight stress response. What if you could learn how to break that stress cycle and perform at an even higher level than you do right now, mentally and physically? And what if you could then master this method and begin teaching it to those that you serve? How would they improve if they weren't anxious before their games? If they didn't have such an upset stomach that they're stuck in the locker room? If they could stand on the stage and remember their speech because they're actually fully functioning cognitively? Like what would be different for your clients if they weren't so stressed out? Or they have personal things going on that are clouding what they're trying to do professionally. What if they could clean that up? What if they had a method that could protect them from fight or flight. Fight or flight is the thing that causes all mental and physical disease. It either causes it or makes it worse. So what if you had this magic for them? That's what I'm gonna teach you in this certification program. So I'm gonna put the link down below. And if you're not a coach, but you came on here because you like to watch me, but you know of a health coach, a business coach, an athletic coach, any sort of person who's helping other people, an educator, a health um, professional, a psychologist, a therapist, if you have a therapist, this expertise, me sharing this expertise with them could literally change the world. <laughs> it could change the people that they are working with. And then there's this ripple effect. It's going to help families. It's going to help communities. So I'm on a big mission, if you haven't got that already, to share Pressure Free with the world and to be coaching people all around the world. I already coach individuals, but now certification, I want to do that as well. 
So just uh, click the link below to get details on it. And you'll see there's a place where you can click to have a conversation with me. I do a personal intake for anyone that's coming into this certification program. And so, um, so I need to have that conversation with you. I want to learn about you and how this could make a difference for you because I have limited number of spots for the people that I bring into this program. So whether you know, you're a coach or you know a coach, let's, let's really start getting this world to be pressure free. The world needs it and um, at, at every level. And by helping coaches, they usually touch a lot of lives. So I wish you a great pressure-free day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.